In this video, we'll learn to calculate simple interest in multiples of 5% on amounts of money. So we'll look before at percentage increase and decrease. And this is really, really connected to increase, simple interest. Simple interest is what you paid when you invest some money in a bank, for example. So they pay you some money in return for having or for saving your money. So when we have a 10% simple interest rate, a 10% interest rate, what that means is that you are being paid 10% on your investment year on year. So at the end of the first year, you'd be paid 10% of that amount. So if you invested £500, then that means that at the end of year one, you'd be paid 10% extra. So at the end of year one, you'd have £550 because £50 is 10% of 500 So at the end of year one, you'd have you'd have 550 then the next year you're given another 50 so another 10 percent so this continues to expand so another 10 percent and another 10 percent and so on so add another 50 that makes 600 so at the end of year two you'd have 600 pounds at the end of year three, you'd have 650. At the end of year four, you'd have 700 and so on. So adding 50 pounds each year, that's what we mean when you paid 10% simple interest. 5% then again, so 5% we said it was 25. So at the end of year one, you'd have 525. And then add another 25, that's 550 at the end of second year. 575 at the end of the third year and 600 at the end of the fourth year and so on. So adding £25 year on year. And if the interest rate is 15%, you'd be having 15% on top of that, of the 500 at the end of year one, so which is 75, 15% of 575. So that means at the end of year one, you'd have 575. At the end of year two, you'd have 650. At the end of year three, you would have 725. At the end of year four, you'd have 800 and so on. So adding on 75%, 75 pounds or 15% each time. So what this means, simple interest, is adding the same percentage, the same amount year on year.